Niantic have made Pokemon Go available on the Apple Watch now, so once you download it, you will have a variety of different features to play around with. Now straight off the bat, I do want to say that this application of Pokemon Go to the Apple Watch isn't in any way as flawless as the Pokemon Go Plus. Now I will be having a video uploaded very soon where I have a versus between the Apple Watch and the Pokemon Go Plus, but the Apple Watch has had some issues straight away. I know this is early days, um, I will go through the features, but so far I've been having issues with it not tracking my progress. I also have issues with it not signing into my profile immediately. It also doesn't seem to display my buddy Pokemon, and out of nowhere the session will just end and it will log me out without any sort of knowledge on the user's end. Now, Niantic haven't made certain features available on the Apple Watch, and this is understandable because they're trying to push users more so towards the Pokemon Go Plus, which you can capture Pokemon, it can get Pokestops, and it can track all of your buddy Pokemon and your egg incubators. So that is something that is super flawless and it works through the Niantic system. Now with the Apple Watch, this is a third party uh, application, so they obviously had to work with Apple to make this work. Now the core features of Pokemon Go on the Apple Watch include the session which is set up is actually set up as a workout session. So the gameplay will count towards personal activity rings, which is through the Apple ecosystem. Uh, that's basically just your progress through the day standing up walking and exercise so it actually logs progress towards your workout as well as your Pokemon Go buddy uh, you can receive notifications about nearby Pokemon but you can't catch them at all through the Apple Watch you can also count distance towards hatching Pokemon eggs and receiving candy with your buddy Pokemon so that's something that both the plus and the Apple Watch have so something that's really nice I guess for people who can't get their hands on the Plus or just haven't and do have an Apple Watch, this is an easy way to just track your progress. You also receive notifications about Pokestops and you can collect items from them as well which was really nice. Uh, it was a little bit laggy when I spun the ring and it isn't the most viable alternative, it's kind of dodgy and a bit laggy at times, um, but that was just me sitting still so imagine if I was to uh, drive which you wouldn't even be able to do it while you're driving so the only way you could physically do it would be walking and if it's that dodgy I would prefer to just use my phone. Um, but anyway, that's just one of those things they may iron out in the future, make it a little bit more flawless. Uh, you also receive notifications when eggs hatch and medals are awarded. So seeing as you have the watch and you have the display, this means that they can offer a bit more visual stimulation. So you can see the Pokemon that are actually nearby, that's down the bottom of the main screen there. It will tell you how many calories you've burnt, uh, how many kilometers you've walked. It will also show you how many eggs you have incubated and how close you are to hatching them. It will show you your buddy Pokemon and how close you are there. And you can also turn off Pokemon and Pokestop uh, notifications. So overall it's pretty decent for an Apple Watch application. They've done a decent job here. Now it's a really nice display. It is a little bit boring. You can't really do anything. You can't tap on anything. It basically just tracks. Um, and one thing I do want to mention guys, this drains your battery because it's constantly tracking your progress. It's basically like setting up your Apple Watch for a workout. That seems to drain my battery super quickly. So same kind of principle here. It's going to drain it. Um, it does work really well and like I said it's a decent viable alternative. If you don't have the plus or for some reason you don't want to pick it up and you do have an Apple Watch, this is great and this is a little bit of fun, a little bit of a different kind of interface to play around with and for Pokemon Go fans alike, they're going to enjoy this. I'm enjoying it so far guys, um, but yes, I definitely will show you guys the difference between the Plus and the Apple Watch and show you basically what you're going to get your hands on if you get one or the other. Anyway guys, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a great day and peace out.